Here is the scenario from before, where we procured 150 megawatts of SIR to cover the DC risks. Now let's look at how much SIR we need to cover the AC risks in the same scenario. Our binding SIR AC risks are 125 megawatts in the South Island and 390 megawatts in the North Island. The 150 megawatts of SIR we procured from the North Island to cover the DC ECE risk also contributes towards the 390 megawatts of SIR required to cover the AC risk in the North Island. However, we still need an additional 240 megawatts to cover the rest of the ACCE. In this scenario, we want to procure as much SIR as we can from the South Island because it's cheaper. But how much can we get? The amount of SIR we can transfer from the South Island is constrained by the HVDC. This is called the Reserve Sharing Limit. For this example, the forward and reverse reserve sharing limits are both 220 megawatts. This is the most SIR we can transfer from the South Island. In reality, it will be less due to losses, but we'll look at that in more detail later. This 220 megawatts, along with the 150 megawatts we bought earlier, takes us up to a total of 370 megawatts. So to reach the SIR requirement of 390 megawatts, we'll need to procure the remaining 20 megawatts from the North Island. Now we'll look at the SIR requirements to cover AC risk in the South Island. We have already bought 220 megawatts of SIR from the South Island to help cover the AC risk in the North Island. This is enough to cover the 125 megawatts of SIR required in the South Island. In total, we scheduled 170 megawatts of SIR in the North Island and 220 megawatts of SIR in the South Island. As you can see, the national market for instantaneous reserves enables us to cover the risks in both islands efficiently and cost-effectively. This increases competition in the instantaneous reserves market.